Hey, sub! You can change your game mode in Minecraft, but you can also change your difficulty mode. What if there were more than just peaceful, easy, normal, and hard options? I think it's time we took a look at seven new modes that should be in Minecraft. Hard isn't hard enough, and easy isn't easy enough. Well, not in my opinion, sub. But we'll need to do more than mess with the difficulty in these modes to make them stand out. Let's get right into it. Number one, baby mode. Now, before we go and start getting all advanced here, sub, I think you should consider accessibility. Modes exist for a reason after all, and it's so that players can set their difficulty to whatever works for them. Minecraft does have a peaceful mode which stops hostile mobs from spawning. It's simple, and it works. But what if we took the simple and took it 100% literally? In baby mode, all mobs that spawn would be babies and wouldn't deal any damage. In baby mode, everything is made of sponge, so fall damage doesn't exist. In fact, you may as well remove your hearts altogether. This is the perfect mode for the noobiest of noobs or children just learning how to use the controller. Something tells me you don't fit in here, sub. You're a bit too pro for this, right? <laughs> I thought so. Well, never fear. In baby mode, you can complete the game easily. Diamonds spawn 10 times more often, and villagers will give you all items for free because you're a baby. Like, who's gonna charge a baby? Babies don't have money. There's also no nether and no end. So guess what, sub? That means to complete the game, Game. You need a sleep. Why don't you take a sip of some milk before getting into Betty Bye? Hey, sub, make sure to check out the link in the description to buy mine coins for Minecraft Bedrock Edition from G2A. Number 2 Impossible Mode. Wake up, sub! Today's a new day. You're not a baby anymore. You're a man. You've gone all the way from the most simple mode in history to the most frustrating. You asked for it after all. Hard mode increases the damage mobs deal by quite a bit, and their health even gets a buff too. Not only all of that, but mobs spawn more often, and they'll likely be equipped with weapons. Now that already sounds tough, but what if I told you that in impossible mode, all of that is child's play, there would be a 1 out of 10 chance for a giant version of a mob to spawn instead. Not only this, but every mob in the game has dramatically increased health and their damage. Well, let's just say two hits from anything and you're done. To beat this mode, not only will you need to be a Minecraft pro, but also practically untouchable. Impossible mode would have nights that last far longer than the days, making crop growing and exploration above ground a big challenge. Nether portals will need to have an edge of at least 16 blocks as opposed to the regular 10 or 12. Finally, the Ender Dragon is now the Ender Dragon couple. That's right, two for the price of one. Hey, do you think you could manage all of that? Do you think you could make impossible mode possible? Let us know. And while you're at it, remember to hit that big red button. You know the one that says subscribe. It's completely free. Number three, randomize mode. We all like changing the formula up a little bit. Things not being what they seem can be half the fun in games sometimes. So perhaps a mode that didn't just go up or down in the difficulty, but one that changed it all together would be really cool. With randomized mode, all your items would suddenly look like they've been swapped. Whose inventory have you got there, you ask sub? Well, that's yours. All your items are just retextured randomly. In fact, take a look around you. You. The dirt is wood. The stone is magma. It all makes no sense. Everything here is just completely random. Look, here are some trees made out of stone. I'm sure they all work the same. Ah, see? You can use the names of each item and block to tell what they really are. It's gonna take a while to learn all these new textures, though. Perhaps this mode could work more like Lucky Blocks, where everything you break could drop literally anything. The possibilities are endless. Number 4. Speedrun Mode 
buckle up, because a trend that's existed for as long as Minecraft has had an ending is speedrunning. A common thing in a lot of games, the scene in Minecraft is really blowing up right now, sub. In fact, it's so big that I think Mojang should consider crafting a special mode that makes speedrunning a little easier for everyone involved. The easiest implementation to think about would be a new timer in the corner of the screen, so you can directly track how long it takes to beat the Ender Dragon. This could even be set up to have specific goals or even milestones you want to reach, like a stopwatch or counter. Speedrunners often use graphics and have to mess around with things to time their runs, so it being a little more intuitive would be a big help. I see you're practicing speedrunning yourself there, Sub. You made that portal pretty quickly. Nice job! One thing that can make or break a speedrun is whether the player can find certain items like blaze rods from blazes in the nether fortress and ender pearls from endermen around the world. This would increase the spawn rates of each, or perhaps even make them rarer in some cases, all in an effort to make runs more interesting. Number 5. Journey Mode Terraria is a great game that has similar roots to Minecraft, but has since expanded into an incredibly different and unique gaming experience. Why do I bring it up, you ask? Well, in their latest update, they added a new mode called Journey Mode. This is kind of like Minecraft's creative mode, except it has to be earned first, rather than just having a command. So in this Minecraft Journey Mode, you would have no items as you continue through the game, so you would need to craft after a process a certain amount of an item before you would be able to get access to it in the creative mode. Things like torches would probably need a few hundred, whereas rare items like diamonds may only take nine or ten. This is because torches are very easy to gather, but diamonds on the other hand take forever. Once you've found a few, most of the fun is gone, so being able to access them infinitely after this would be pretty cool. After the end game, this would be a great goal to get every single item legitimately in journey mode, essentially becoming a Minecraft creative god. Hey, do you think you'd be up to the challenge? Do you want to see more videos here on Subs World? Well, make sure to like this video, and we'll see what we can do to make sure we get more amazing Minecraft content straight to the channel. Number 6. Apocalypse Mode Maybe modes that change up the world aren't your thing. Maybe what it is that you need is a mode that destroys the world instead. Sounds good, Sub? No? Oh, I'm sure you'll change your mind. Activating Apocalypse Mode would cause an imminent disaster to come crashing towards your spawn point. This could be one of many different things, from a tsunami, hurricane, lightning storm, to a volcanic eruption, or even a zombie invasion. Anything could be on its way, and the challenge for you is to survive it for as long as possible. Looks like a storm is brewing, sub. Watch out for the lightning. Oof. Oh dear, and that looks like a horde of brain-thirsty zombies too. Perhaps you can escape on a boat. Oh no, it looks like all the oceans have run dry. That's not really convenient. Well, that only thing would ever happen if there's a huge <gasps> tsunami. Oh no, sub, you need to run. Phew. I can't believe you managed to survive. I'm so glad, sub. I think you can just stay on this little island here and ride out the rest of the storm. Number 7. Haunted Mode Go on, Sub. I'll let this one do the talking for itself. Activate Haunted Mode and watch what happens. Exactly. Nothing whatsoever. Or so you think. In reality, you've just released several ancient demons into your Minecraft world, including the mythical and deadly Hero Brine. Now, when you walk near objects, they may move or activate completely on their own. Doors will swing open. Redstone mechanisms and buttons will trigger, as if there's something else in the room with you. Not only this, but mobs will now begin slowly moving towards your direction, as if something is constantly giving away your position. Totems of Undying will no longer work on you, and poison and fire effects will last forever. The creepiest part of this mode sub, there's really no telling what will happen. You could get a jump scare, find all of your stuff rearranged, 
or even be attacked by the angry demons themselves. Oh no, Sub, you gotta run! Hey, what is your favorite Minecraft mode bin that we've suggested today? Make sure to tell Sub here in the comments, and give us your ideas too! Maybe you can try and survive, or complete the game with a few of these game modes, Sub! Well, whatever you plan to do, leave yourself enough time, because we need to get to work on that next video, Sub! Thanks for watching, everyone! We'll catch you next time!